Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. This is Trent from All Things Automotive. Today we're looking at a 2014 Chevrolet Silverado 1500 in the LTZ trim in a beautiful Summit white. This vehicle does have three previous owners, does have a minor on the Carfax, so we'll get into that in just a bit because we are up front and transparent here at All Things Automotive. Mileage is just right under 124,000 miles and we'll get into that exact mileage here in just a bit. Let's start off in the front here, nice styling from Chevrolet. You have your split grill here with your black grill insert and your Z71 badging. Gold bow tie, of course. High intensity halogen headlights. Fog lights integrated in the lower bumper. The chrome really sets this truck off. This is a sharp looking truck, everybody. Let's take a uh, look around here. Nice alloy wheel wrapped in a, looks like a Terra Grappler tire. Like new tires here at All Things Automotive. As always, I believe these are 10 to 11 30 seconds. We'll check the used car mechanical check sheet in just a bit. You also notice you do have fixed running boards. Nice chrome accents on the side. There's your Silverado badging. A couple things to note here, you do have turn signal indicators integrated in your mirror cap here on the front, not the cap, but this side here, and they are auto folding. So a lot of nice features in this vehicle. Speaking of nice features, this is one of my favorite in this truck is the uh, interior. As you can see, this is called a Coco Dune interior, two-tone. You have your tan, chocolate, and some carbon fiber accents. That's going to continue throughout the entire interior of the vehicle. You do have uh, upgraded Bose premium sound, so you would be bumping and thumping in no time. Those do sound awesome. You have a subwoofer in the back. All right, the seats are a nice tan all the way around. You have uh, powered options on your passenger seat here. Let's take a look at that used car mechanical check sheet here. Looks like your tires are pretty much brand new at 14.30 seconds. Brake pads are good to go along with a fresh oil change, new cabin air filter, and a top to bottom detail just for you. Didn't need to do much to this truck. This was a locally owned truck, um, just traded in here recently. Owner. The previous owner took very good care of it, so it is a very, very clean truck for the year in miles. Let's keep walking around. Now, this is the double cab, but it's still going to offer some nice space back here for you. Okay, you have some storage back here, and you have some storage on the back of the seats. Six and a half foot bed as well, with a drop-in bed liner. There's your Z71 decal right there LTZ badging it is set up to tow ready to go with your four and seven pin wiring spare tire down below there's your tailgate there releases very easily you have hooks on the side if you need to do ratchet straps or bungee cords or whatever you want to do bed wasn't heavily used let's go up here let's check out the driver area my favorite spot in this truck Okay, a couple things to note here. You do have memory seating, so you have two profiles here, and you will have an easy exit option um, within the infotainment center. You can set up your settings there, and you can set it by just pushing those two simultaneously. You have all your powered options right here as far as powered mirrors, locks, auto folding mirrors. They'll actually fold in if you need to park in a tight spot. Beautiful Z71 plate right down there. Again, powered seats. Before we hop in, I wanted to show you here, you have electronic Four wheel drive selector right here, brightness and dimming controls for your center cluster, and then you have your lamp selectors right there as well. So let's hop up and take a look. Now you will receive two keys for your added convenience as always, and this is equipped with remote start. Wanted to mention it does have an aftermarket uh, Dynamax super turbo exhaust on it. Just a single exhaust there. Okay, just over 123, 668. So just under 124,000 miles there, as you can see. As far as the steering controls here, you have a lot of safety features as well. There's your forward collision button, so that's gonna alert you if someone's getting in your path. Okay, you do have your cruise control right here, and you do have a heated wheel. So that's very nice. Okay, let's go over here and you do you have your control pads for your center cluster right there, so you can display all kinds of information right there as far as fuel life, tire pressure, etc. You can even go to audio, phone, navigation, no route entered. As you can see, I do have the navigation pulled up to show you guys. It does have onboard navigation, which is super, super nice. Let's take a look at the backup camera here. Nice, crisp, and clean display on the backup camera. You're going to have things like FM, AM, CD player right here in the middle and XM radio, let's hit the home button. Okay, and you can download 
apps like Pandora, you can do the weather through Sirius XM. There's your OnStar right there. And you can actually go into your settings right here. Let's see, let's go into our settings. Go into display. And you can actually change the themes of your infotainment display. This is the only year and model they did this in, guys. So you got contemporary, main street, which is my favorite, edge or velocity. And that'll change the whole theme in your center cluster and on your touchscreen display. Let's go with a nice blue this time. All right, working our way down, there's your climate control right here. You can do dual where you can sync it, okay? And everything else was pretty straightforward. Let's hit that AC button because it is getting a little hot. And there's your fan blower speed right here. You will notice you have cooled and heated seats. You can heat your upper, heat your lower, and then there's your cooled seats right there, and you can do levels on all of them. I always like to put my cold seats on, so let's put them on and relax. Down below here, a couple of buttons to go over. You do have a foot pedal adjustment right here. Traction control off, jellyfish launcher, just kidding, that's your cargo lamp. And this is your uh, park sense, so you can turn that off or on, okay? There's your lane keep assist and your downhill descent control. And along with your downhill descent control, this is actually going to have active braking too in this Chevrolet model. All right, let's keep on going, guys, because there's a lot to this truck. You do have three USBs, a 12 volt here, and a 110 right here, so you can be connected and charged at all times. One thing I love about these trucks is the console goes all the way up through the middle. You have a lot of storage here, chrome trim all the way around, two cup holders. Plenty of places to lose your keys. And then a deep console right there as well, which is LED lighted with two more USBs, SD card, and auxiliary. So everywhere you look, you can be connected and charged. All right, guys, I wanted to show you the headliner. It is free of any rip stains, tears, or anything like that. Okay, small blemishes like right here. And then on the other side right there, as you can see, there's a small stain. But other than that, this is a very clean vehicle. Again, locally owned, well-maintained can't beat it if you're on a budget but need a truck and you like the comfort features this is going to be the perfect truck for you guys all right so let's get into the carfax here you're going to have a minor on the carfax okay it looks like there was minor on the front and minor is usually cosmetic including dents or scratches to the vehicle body okay and this one is i think that's a duplicate right there from the previous owner i think they said they only hit they only had one minor accident. I don't know why it's on there twice the same spot, but everything's been mechanically inspected. Everything's been looked over. No need to worry. Again, it's minor, so that just means it was cosmetic. All right, guys, let's take a look at the 5.3. Hood release is located bottom here, pretty much center of the steering wheel. It's going to tell me my hood's open in the information display there. does have a nice idle sound as well again aftermarket Dynamax super turbo I think nice aggressive furry sound not too loud but just enough so there's your 5.3 right there that's pretty nice sound and as you can see no evidence of exhaust or anything like that crew does an amazing job of making these showroom and road ready. All right, guys, I'm going to shut this truck off. I'm going to walk around and show you any dense things or imperfections you may or may not find. Keep in mind, this is a pre-owned vehicle. It's not perfect. We like to make them as clean as possible, and this one actually came out very beautiful. Okay, stuff like this here on the front. You're going to have some road chips. You can't get away from that unless you park it and don't drive it. Okay, so you're going to have some stone chips up front. Bottom of the chrome bumper, everything looks good. Again, small blemishes. All the chrome up front, no fading or discoloration or anything like that, but you are gonna have some stone chips. You do have a nice visor to keep your hood protected right there. And again, that kind of uh, goes along with the interior. It's, you, get, you get that brown, brown visor right there, and then that goes along with the Coco Dune two-tone. Beautiful interior here on this 14 Chevrolet Silverado LTZ. No curb rash on the wheel or anything like that. Front fender looks good. Silverado badging intact. Just a few minor blemishes here on the white. Okay, it's not perfect. You really have to get up on it to see anything, but there are some spots. 
Okay. I think that was some fine dust from the garage. Again, a blemish here. I'm going down the passenger side, bed side. Bottom bumper looks good. No dents or dangs. There's your proximity sensors on your bottom bumper there. I do have one spot to note right here. Looks like a small blemish right here on the back of the tailgate. And obviously some blemishes here on the top of the tailgate on this trim piece here. Cargo going in and out. That's kind of inevitable if you use your bed. Working our way up here. Small blemishes. Just little, just little things. It's not perfect. But again, you really have to go up and really pick them out. Otherwise, a very beautiful truck. If you guys have any more questions, please give us a call. 717-485-4224. Hit option one for sales or go to allthingsautomotive.com. Shop online 24-7 and get yourself pre-approved and make sure you ask your sales consultant about extended coverage because this truck does qualify or just come out and take it for a test drive at 21518 Great Cove Road, McCallsburg, Pennsylvania. Again, my name is Trent and this is a 2014 Chevrolet Silverado 1500 with the 5.3. LTZ trim all loaded up double cab so give us a call thanks and have a beautiful day